In one of the earliest video uploads, we have already discussed about the primary flight controls of an airplane. They are the rudder, elevator, and ailerons. These control surfaces are responsible for yawing the airplane leftward or rightward, pitching the airplane upward or downward, and rolling the airplane clockwise or counterclockwise. In another video upload, we have also revealed to you that an elevon combines the functions of an elevator and an aileron. This has been the tail set up for a supersonic airplane called Concorde. But what happens when you combine the rudder with the elevator? Let's find out. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. The V-tail of an airplane is an unusual tail setup like the elevons of a Concorde. It uses diagonal flight control surfaces instead of straight ones. Most airplanes have separate vertical and horizontal flight control surfaces that are called rudder and elevator respectively. Like a conventional rudder, both rudder vators move horizontally to yaw the airplane to the left or right. Because rudder vators are diagonal flight control surfaces, one of them has to move upward while the other one has to move downward. The resulting vectoral force is either a leftward or a rightward direction as the upward and downward forces are equal. Like a conventional elevator, both rudder vators move vertically to pitch the airplane up or down. Because rudder vators are diagonal flight control surfaces, one of them has to move to the left while the other one has to move to the right. The resulting vectoral force is either an upward or a downward direction as the leftward and rightward forces are equal. Here comes the tricky role of rudder vators. What happens to them when you yaw and pitch the airplane simultaneously? Only one of the two rudder vators will move significantly because either left and right or up and down forces will be equal. When an airplane pitches up and yaws to the left, a left-facing rudder vator moves upward. When an airplane pitches up and yaws to the right, a right-facing rudder vator moves upward. When an airplane pitches down and yaws to the left, a left-facing rudder vator moves downward. When an airplane pitches down and yaws to the right, a right-facing rudder vator moves downward. In some airplanes, the rudder vator is shaped like a letter X or a multiplication sign, where a conventional V-tail and an inverted one are mounted above and below the fuselage respectively. When an X-shaped tail of an airplane performs a simultaneous yaw and pitch, either pair of rudder vators 
along its diagonal axis will move. But when either a yaw or a pitch is performed, all four rudder vectors will move towards a particular direction.